Hey guys, today I am going to show you what I carry in my art bag. And this is like the uncleaned out version, meaning I did not organize this at all. This is like just what I'm carrying with me. Usually my art bag is full of like my favorite on the go art supplies. With that being said, I will introduce you to my ELO sketchbook. I love this thing. So yeah, I always have this on the go. I always carry a sketchbook with me or I carry my iPad so I can draw and procreate. Let's dive into this art bag and I will show you what we have. By the way, I should just start by saying that this is a Clinique makeup bag. I pretty much never buy art supply bags. I just use free things that are given to me. And every time I get like face lotion, they always have this deal where you get like samples in a bag, so I use them for my art stuff. The first thing I have in my bag are these Micron pens. I really love using these, especially if I don't feel like adding color to my artwork, I can focus on shading with lines. I'm getting back into this. I actually kind of shrugged off line art for a while, but I really, really love these, so definitely recommend them. By the way, I will link everything I'm using down below in case you wanna get that stuff too. Yeah! Next, I have a lot of fun jelly roller colors, and oh, I did not put the caps back on some of these when I used them last. <laughs> My bad. Most of them are like pinks and blues and happy colors. I like to use these for Zen Tangles. They're really stress relieving. I've also gotten back into those lately. And of course, I can never go without a white gel pen. I used to have one from a different brand, but I think it ran out of ink or something. Cause I don't have it anymore. You wanna see them up close, here they are. Some of them are metallic, like this one. Um, this one is metallic. So yeah, I have a huge set of these. There's like a hundred of them in the set and I love it. But you can get like smaller sets too. Next, I have these Tombow markers. These are all the Tombow markers that I currently own. I'm working on building up a collection, but I really, really like these because first of all, they do not bleed through the pages of my ELO sketchbook. But second of all, look at this. There is a brush nib which if it would focus, you could see it. Here it is. And instead of doing that really annoying chisel nib that I really don't like using, they do a bullet nib, which is super useful for me. And you can use that for line art, so it's wonderful. They have a pretty big color selection and uh, they're pretty cheap markers, so I'm impressed with them. And they don't bleed through the pages of this, as I said, so that's really great. Oh my goodness, guys, I just found all of these other jelly rollers in here too. So yeah, I apparently have been carrying like 15 of these around with me <laughs> for a while. Oh, I love this one, it is so bright. Yeah! I have some other fine liners. These ones are the Pentel Finit. Finito. This is the Pentel Finito. It is really nice and this is just the same exact one. I really like this marker. I got it on my honeymoon in Italy, I think, or France, I forget. I think it's a Pentel marker. I really don't know, because I can't read what it says, and there's no other label. And that was like two years ago, so I don't remember. Then I got this, which is a Pentel marker. It's really nice. It even says Pentel on it, that's how I know. But it is like this calligraphy kind of marker pen thing. But the catch to this, let me just show you. The catch to this is it's like actually a paintbrush and it has bristles. So it's really, really cool. I love this. I actually use this when I'm like at coffee shops and I'm designing fonts because I sell fonts on the side. So yeah, that's a really nice tool for me. These are my Pentel Aquash pens, and you can see they've had a lot of use, but I really love doing like watercolor and gouache work, and I also don't take care of these very well, so they're like kind of gross right now, but like, I don't know, I just never feel like cleaning them. But I love them, they hold up really well, even though I handle them really, really roughly. And I'm really excited because Arteza sent me some of their brush pens and they're almost identical to these. So I've been using these a lot at home. So 
I'm just really glad to have a lot of these because I love them. And you don't need to bring water with you if you like use watercolor. So yeah. All right, another thing I've been carrying in my art bag lately are these Copic at you Spica glitter pens. They're pretty much transparent ink that is colored and has a lot of glitter in it and I love it, especially around this time of year because festive stuff, I don't know, Christmas just feels really sparkly to me so I just like having them. I have a lot of like golds and stuff. I have a red around here somewhere but I don't know where it is right now. Okay, I've probably shown these in multiple videos just like most of the other supplies I've shown. <laughs> but these are Tombow calligraphy pens, and they work excellently for like outlining drawings. But also, if you are into hand lettering, I highly recommend these. They're amazing. One of them is more of like a flexible nib, and the other is a little bit more stiff. I love, love, love them. And as I said, I design fonts on the side and sell them. So I use these in conjunction with the other brush thing I showed earlier. Okay, next I'll show you all the pencils I use. This is my go-to drawing pencil if I'm using like just a regular pencil. This is just a Papermate mechanical pencil. I love these because I can fiddle with the eraser while I'm thinking. <laughs> and dude, this is really calming for me. Plus, I can refill it, so gotta love that. And yeah, it's just really great. I grew up using these, so it's just something I've always used. I also love these Pilot Color Eno pencils, especially the red one. It gets its use, it gets refilled a lot. And these are nice because they're mechanical pencils. I really like mechanical pencils over regular ones. And I like the red one because I don't know, I just choose to use that one a lot, but the blue one is nice too. These are really great because when I use markers, I feel like they kind of dissolve into the marker or under it and they just disappear. You don't have to erase a lot and it's just um, very convenient for the style of stuff that I like to do. This is pretty much the same thing, but it's not a mechanical pencil, but this is so cool because it has red on one side, blue on the other, and you only have to carry one thing. And it erases very nicely if I remember right. This just came with a lot of those like Pentel pens I've used, I think. And yeah, it's really nice too. It's just a regular mechanical pencil. All right, last but not least, my art bag contains another jelly roller that I found. I don't know why I have so many of these with me right now. I really love this pen. It's just a regular pen, but I used these when I worked in a lab and I don't know. I just really like how inky they are and they write so smoothly. So sometimes I actually use this to outline my artwork or I just use it for like zentangles. And then there's this which is really just a cheap ballpoint pen. And I feel like a cheap ballpoint pen is pretty much a necessity. It's really good for sketching. Oh, you know what? One more thing I should show you. Okay, this is my baby. It does not fit in my art bag, but I take it with me pretty much everywhere I go. By the way, if you're grossed out by that, I burnt myself the other day. It's like healing now, so it's not a big deal. Here is my gouache and watercolor palette. So I put gouache on this side, watercolor on this side, and this palette has my heart. I have like never rinsed it out, <laughs> so it's really special to me. I need to refill like the brown and the red and a couple colors right now because they're running low. But this doesn't fit in my art bag. It usually just goes in my husband's book bag because <laughs> he's so nice and carries it for me. All right, so that was what was in my art bag, but I'm gonna show you a couple other things too. So this is an Arteza watercolor palette and I just got this and I really like it. So I just wanted to show it to you because this is something I will be taking with me places in the future, I think. Um, I just really like how many colors it offers and that it comes with a brush pen in the middle. And there's so much room for mixing. Like, this is the perfect thing to take with me to a coffee shop. Because like, my spread is here, got my sketchbook, this is really like all I need. So, this will be coming with me in the future. I'm really excited about that. And the paint is really pigmented. Um, this palette here is Winsor & Newton gouache on one side and Van Gogh watercolor on the other side. 
And the last couple things I switch in and out of my art bags are these baby watercolor palettes. They're like made for traveling, I think. But they are by Prima Watercolor, and I just love them so much. They have palettes for like different things. So if you have like a certain thing you like to draw, there's probably a palette for it. For instance, if you wanna draw people, you can get the complexion palette. Comes with a swatch card, which I love. And then you can mix your colors on this little baby cute thing. And then your watercolors. So I love these. I usually put like one of them in my bag, sometimes two, depending on what fits. But I also love the Pastel Dreams palette, so I'll show you that one. And then we can be done looking at these. It's just really cute. I love the colors. I feel like they're very me, very cheerful, and this is like what I like to use, so yeah. Oh, but you know what? The Essence palette is also good, so let me just show you that, okay? All right, this is like the earthy tones, which I love using. I painted the first painting of my like under the water whale ocean theme series with this palette. All right, the art bag is empty, so I will put everything back inside. Thanks for watching. I hope this interested you. I really, really love these like what's in my art bag videos. Anytime artists make these, like, I'm a sucker for clicking on it. I'm just so nosy. I like to know what people use on the go because I love doing art on the go and I travel a lot, so this is great. Thanks so much for watching. Comment down below and tell me what's in your art bag or do you have an art bag? Let me know. I would love to hear from you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.